the day where y'all want to celebrate, I want to wear costumes, just like cartoon characters and things like that. So I'm going to give y'all a dose of reality real quick. So it's open to people just walk by, casual, and so forth. So I'm going to give y'all fantasy and reality at the same time. Got it? I'll make it to a nine and second by nine twelve. Huh? I don't want it yet. I want this. Oh, yes. Now, some of y'all have seen the movie Avengers, right? There's a, a guy named Tony Stark. Tony Stark was, you know, of this Iron Man, right? Iron Man was a, a genius, a rich genius in a movie that was able to do what? Build machines and te te technology and so forth. Well, guess what? Tony, that man, Tony Stark, the best of this baseball, well, not fully, but Tony Stark, the, the, per the person that played Tony Stark, based his character off of a man that, that's alive and well and is real, named Elon Musk. Elon Musk, you watch the news, mostly I don't, because y'all don't care about the news. Y'all don't even read a book. Elon Musk is the man that's behind trying to colonize Mars. They're trying to make Mars a new planet to live on. That's reality. Elon Musk is the one behind the satellites in space. He's behind the new, they're trying to build new kinds of rockets and missiles. The guy's name is Elon Musk. They're trying to colonize Mars. Russia is trying to colonize Venus. Now you may ask yourself, well, why are they trying to go to Mars? What's the reason behind them going to Mars or flying there? For what reason? Why leave here? What's on Mars they can't have over here? They read it. You got a mic. This is the Independent. This is a news article called The Independent on October 20th, 2020 article. Go ahead, read that. Elon Musk. Elon Musk, go ahead. Has revealed plans to create a city on Mars. He plans to create a city on Mars. Why? Go ahead. That is entirely self-sufficient. That, that does not need the Earth's help to survive. That is self-sufficient. Go ahead. And not dependent on links to Earth for survival. And not dependent on Earth. So they want to have two planets to colonize. Earth and Mars. Go ahead. Watch this. Speaking at the Mars Society annual conference, uh -huh. the founder and CEO of Spark, SpaceX said projects to develop a Martin settlement were already underway. So they're already trying to establish a settlement on Mars, already underway. Watch this, go ahead. But need to be complete before a catastrophic traffic event takes place but on Earth. But they said they want to build, they want to colonize Mars before a catastrophic event takes place. What event could that be? Read on. He added, civilization's not looking super strong. He said, civilization right now ain't looking too good. Things looking real bad on Earth. You got famine, you got disease, you got uproars to the people. So things look, so Elon Musk saying things looking pretty bad right now. So let's go to Mars. Let's just try to leave Earth, go to Mars. You niggas ain't going to Mars. He's talking to you. Read on. It's looking a little rickety right now. Looking real rickety. America's looking real bad right now. Real rickety right now. Go ahead, watch. Establishing self-sufficiency would therefore be the ultimate benchmark of success. We want to try to establish a, a strong, self-sufficient um, civilization on Mars because Earth may, not, Earth may not last long, is what he's saying. Go ahead. Ultimate benchmark of success for any colonization of Mars. For any colonization of Mars. Watch this, come on. It's helpful, it's helpful to have as the objective the creation of self-sustaining city on Mars. Come on. Not simply a few people or a base. They don't want just a base. They want an entire city on Mars. They want an entire town. They want a city on Mars. That's the plan. This is Elon Musk's plan to build a whole new civilization on the planet Mars. Why? Just in case, just in case, something bad goes on on Earth. Go ahead. But a self-sustaining city, he said. Come on. That acid test is, is if it slips, wait. They're that, doing tests to see if Mars is, is a bit uh, habitable. It is. Go to right here, come on. 
He said, Listen, he said, watch this. And eventually, he said, an eventuality uh -huh. could occur from a number of potential scenarios. So the reason why we're going to Mars is because an eventuality of certain occurrences may take place. In Negro terms, some SH might pop off. So we're going to fly to Mars just in case it does. Watch, read. Giving examples. He, gonna give, he gives examples of what can pop off on Earth. Why are they going to Mars? Watch. And comment hitting the earth. A what? A comet hitting the earth. So his first thought is a comet might hit the earth. So we're gonna go to Mars as a as a contingency a contingency plan, we're gonna go to Mars. Or comet hit the earth, that's not gonna happen. No Arm like Bruce Willis, Armageddon, but watch that. A super volcano erupted. Or a volcano might erupt and cause damage in the earth. That's the second scenario. Go ahead. Or even nuclear Armageddon. Or what? Or nuclear Armageddon. What are you just afraid of? Nuclear Armageddon. Or nuclear Armageddon. Go ahead. On Earth. On Earth. They're going to Mars for that. It's going to say it. Go ahead. Keep going. This really might come down to, are we going to create a self-sustaining city on Mars before or after World War III? See that? It's important to get a self-sustaining base. Um, ideally on Mars, because Mars is far enough away from Earth that a, that, uh, a war on Earth, the Mars base might survive. Yeah, we're, we're trying to be a leader in apocalyptic defense scenarios. But I think a moon base and a Mars base, um, that, um, that could perhaps help regenerate life back here on Earth would be really important and to get that done before a possible World War III. If you want to mount like a missile launcher or something, you can do that. <laughs> You know, last, last century we had two massive world wars, three if you count the Cold War. I think it's unlikely that we will never have another world war again. Um, there probably will be at some point. So he said he didn't, he didn't mention no volcano. He didn't mention a comet. He said we're going to leave Earth before or after World War III, which is what? Nuclear Armageddon. Yeah. That's what the Bible says. Yeah. The Bible talks about nuclear Armageddon. Right. You won't combine the stupid ass costumes look stupid as hell while the world's coming to an end. Right. Y'all are simple as hell out here, man. Right. Y'all in La La Land. That's why, that's why I keep telling you niggas, and you know what, get off. Cause y'all got childish mindsets. Right. You're like a bunch of big ass kids out here. You're getting gunned down the street, the murderers are getting off, you're wearing damn costumes. You guys are in a dream world. Read on. And I think the probability of it being created after World War II. So he said, I, I believe that the probability of building a city, of leaving, of leaving the, um, the Earth after World War III. Go ahead. Hopefully there is never a World War III. But it, it's going to be. Go ahead. But the probability of after is low. The probability of us leaving the Earth after World War III is low because we'll all be dead. That's what he's talking about. We got to go to Mars before World War III. Not before the comet. Not before the volcano, before nuclear Armageddon. That's Elon Musk saying that. Elon Musk is a man that's building your satellites. He's building the new new age missiles and rockets. That's your modern day Tony Stark. He's a real Iron Man, a real person doing these things. He says we must leave Earth before World War III. When he says we, he ain't talking about you minorities. He's talking about his own people. The elite, those who can afford to leave. Not you, maybe some of you niggas that entertain, maybe some of you that can make them laugh and smile and bounce a ball. Maybe some of y'all can come along. But Elon Musk is trying to go to Mars before World War III. He, he said that there cannot be an after. Nuclear bombs are too strong for an after. When a bomb hits, nowadays, there is no surviving. There's no bomb shelter, there's nowhere to run, there's nowhere to hide, there's no plane to get in, because all nuclear bombs have e um, EMPs. That means your phones are off, your watches are gone, your radio's out, your cell phones are out, there's nowhere to go. You're lost at this point. Before nuclear bombs hit, they drop EMPs, electromagnetic pulse, that knocks out all the power in the area before it hits. Nuclear bombs today can destroy lands as large as Texas and France. You ain't escaping that. You ain't running nowhere. Your ass is just gonna just die here. Straight up.
But Elon Musk is saying, well, before you niggas die from our weapons, we out. And you ain't coming along. No little yachty, no young dog. They're not coming along. They're going to die with burnt niggas here. They ain't coming nowhere, please. Right. They don't repent, of course. Give me a, now give, now give you the, what, what I want now. Bucket two and nine. Now, question. What I just read, is that in the Bible? Don't try to escape nuclear war, war three? Yes, it is. Read that. Habakkuk, chapter two and verse nine. Now, the prophets of old, they saw nuclear destruction in their visions. They were prophets. The Lord showed them World War Three. He showed them nuclear missiles. They didn't call it that, but they saw it. Now I'm going to prove it. Y'all here wearing costumes, playing fairy tale, but you are in the real world. You niggas out here are simple as hell. You want to live fantasy. COVID is real. Food shortage is real. But let's buy candy. Let's wear a costume and pretend everything's okay. Nothing's okay. You're wearing a mask for God's sake. It's not all right. Walking around with a mask on. You're normalizing, you're normalizing abnormal. Read that. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 9. Woe to him that coveted an evil covetous. What, what evil covetous is this? Coveting what? An identity? A land on belonging to you? America is built on stolen land. Blood, sweat, and tears of our Native American brothers. Some of you out here who are Peruvian, you are the, you are the descendants of the Incas. Where is your empire? Destroyed. Some of you are Mexicans are here. You are the descendants of Aztecs. Where is your empire? It is destroyed. Some of you are Ecuadorians and so forth. Oh, what's it? Who else? Ecuador. My mother, not the other, other lands. Guatemala, Panama, Nicaragua. You are the Mayans. Where is your empire? It's destroyed. This land was gotten by murder and colonization. How they gonna colonize Mars? How they gonna colonize this part of the world right here? To death and destruction. Read again. Woe to him. Woe means death and destruction unto him. What? That coveted and evil covetous. Meaning desire that steals land and people. Desires land and people that don't belong to him. We don't belong to the white man. He said, I desire them. They're gonna be slaves. Go ahead. To his house. To his house. That covers three, he's gonna, he gonna take us from our land, bring us to his land he stole, and make it his own house. Go ahead. That he may set his nest on high. What would our oppressor do? Set his nest on high. What would our oppressor do in time? Set his nest on high. Space stations. No. Space Force. You know? Elon Musk. They have space, they live up there. Set their nest on high. The prophet saw them do this. Y'all all confused. I don't know what's going on. I don't read a book. What is what is Cardi B saying about her vagina? What's your vagina saying? What you, that nigga's as simple as hell out here, man. Fuck it up. What's Megan the Stallion? She got shot in her feet. Oh, that's more important than what God says. Cardi B, her feet. Oh, God, Megan's feet. Not the disease, no. God, Megan's feet, Jesus Christ. He shot her in the toe. Oh God! Where are the angels? Where are you? Y'all simple as hell, here, man. Get up. Read it again. Woe to him that cometh in an evil covetousness to his house. Go ahead. That he may set his nest on high. Set his nest on high. Meaning what? Build space stations, colonize Mars, colonize Venus, try to go to the moon. White man thinks big, Negroes think small. That's why, that's why they think small of you. White man trying to go to Mars, you trying to wear a costume. Read. That he may be delivered from the power of evil. He may be what? That he may be delivered from the power of evil. Said me. Yes, sir. That he may set his nest on high. So why? Why are they going in space? Why are they building space stations, space force, going to Venus, going to Mars? What reason, Read That he may be delivered from the power of evil. That's why, to avoid World War III. Right. That's what God says. Right. This is two plus thousand years ago, the prophets told you our enemies are going to be successful in space travel to avoid nuclear war. Yeah. World War III is inevitable. It is not, it's not, it's not avoidable. It's inevitable.
indefensible. Right. For those of you who don't say that word means or spell it, it means it can't be stopped. It can't be avoided. It's gonna happen. It has to. It ha thank you, thank you. It has to happen. Very good. It has to happen. Get Zechariah 9 and 12. But y'all wanna sit around and go, you know what? However, I believe in that my own personal relationship with God. I'm good. No, you're not good. You celebrate Halloween, you're not good. You celebrate New Year's, you're not good. Thanksgiving, you're not good. You're far from good. You're very bad now. Let me give you a bottom example. As a parent, you tell your children, as a parent, do not talk to strangers. Right? Stranger danger, right? What are you doing now? Bringing your children to a, to a stranger's door to give them candy. Right. You know how dumb that sound? Right. Don't talk to strangers. Just stop on their door and get candy from them. Right. Foreign candy from a, a, this nowhere. Just give them candy. You know how dumb that is? Right. No. Some of y'all have kids that the kids go out on their own. Go out on your own. Go, go outside to that neighbor next door. Let them give you candy. I don't know him. Who cares? It's Halloween. Right. Then when your child go missing, you're asking God why. Because you're a stupid ass parent. Right. That's why. Because right. you're a dumbass. I'm gonna tell you straight. Right. Now, dumbass is in the Bible. We have to use cursing. Dumbass is in the Bible. It's a biblical term. Right. It's an animal that can't speak. Now, that's a mule. Dumb means you're dumb. They're just dumb. That. But to tell your child. Don't talk to strangers, then have them turn around with a costume knock on a stranger's door for candy makes no sense to me. There's no logic behind it. None. None. Read that. Zechariah chapter 9 and verse 12. Turn ye to the stronghold. The Bible says what? Turn ye to the stronghold. The stronghold is our God, not your politicians. They're not strongholds. Trump is not a stronghold. Biden is not a stronghold. They don't care about y'all. The politicians do one thing. They play one game every, every, every eight years. It's called good cop, bad cop. Right. Trump, obviously, is the bad cop. They have an agenda. Of course. And Biden has, is the good cop. Negroes fall for the good cop all the time. But they're all in bed together. You want the snake, you don't want the snake that hides its fangs. I like, snakes, I, I like snakes that don't. I like Trump. He's honest. He is the voice of America. Y'all want that voice to be silent. Y'all want that voice to be quiet. Right. But Trump is very outspoken. I like that dude. Cause he a real, he a, he a real red bat. He's real. He's honest. Y'all want dishonest. Right. Y'all want him to lie. So this, you, you hate niggas? That's fine. Just don't say it out loud. Right. <laughs> just, just whisper it in our it's ear. True. It's true. Just whisper. Oh, you look, oh, please. Our lives matter. We're the only race that has to ask other nations to, to, to ask other nations to say our lives matter. Right. We're the only ones. Because we call ourselves niggas. You don't hear Arabs say my life matters. Arab lives matter. East Indian lives matter. You don't hear that from them. Right. Chinese lives matter. You don't hear that from them. Hawaiian lives matter, you don't hear that from them. King, Russian lives matter, you don't hear that from them. King speak lives matter, we don't call each other. Well, we, we do use those terms. To but un un but, right, right. but other nations don't ask the white man to accept them or to accept their lives matter. Only we do that. Right. Only a please, sir. Let me, let me say, speak out. That's how y'all sound to me. Please, sir. Please, master. My life matters, don't it, master? Yes, sir. Does it, sir? Yes, it does, sir. Please. Look at this. I'm going to hold up a sign. See, look at me, master. Look, I can read. Check right, show and drive. Right, look at me, master. My life matters. Look at it, master. See, look, I wrote it down and everything. I can read now. That's how I sound to him. That's how I sound to intelligent people. But other nations don't do that. They don't beg them people, but they don't beg them people for acceptance. Right. No. Malcolm X said years ago, he said, if you were really Americans, you have no problems. Black folks aren't Americans. Right. You're property of America. You're not Americans. Right. You are property of real Americans. Your job is to spend, be consumers, be the batteries that keep the machine going. That's right. your position. That's your position. 
called, that will economy. always be. Called economy. You are children of slaves. Right. That's all. Children of slaves are, free, are, are given fewer rights than their forefathers. That's it. Privileges. Mer as they call it, manumissions. That's what they call it, manumissions. Read that, please. Turn you to the stronghold. The Bible says, turn to the stronghold. When you return to the word of God, the Bible is your book. Some of y'all say it's the white man's book. If it was, you follow it. You follow his Christmas, you follow his Halloween, you follow his New Year's. Right. So the Bible was his book, you follow it too. Right. But you know why you know you know you know it's not his book? Because you hate the Bible. Right. Because your forefathers wrote the Bible. I say you know you hate it so much. I say you hate us so much. Because our forefathers, like us, were real. They were honest with you. Showed you your evil and your wrong. Y'all want to hear that? If the Bible was about Moses and his journey going to the store or he had or his kids, y'all would love it. But when them laws come up, niggas get furious. Y'all get mad as hell. Laws, commandments, so it's God. Because they violate them. Y'all don't want to hear that. Read on. Turn you to the stronghold. The laws of God, the word of God, the most high. Go ahead. Ye prisoners of hope. Be what? Ye prisoners of hope. What is that? What is a prisoner of hope? What is a prisoner of hope? A prisoner of hope is a person that convinces themselves while they're imprisoned in captivity or in jail, everything going to be all right. I'm going to pick Biden, things going to change. We're going to pick Obama, things going to change. We're going to pick Bush, things going to change. That's what we think. We bear prisoners, we are, we are prisoners of our own mind. We convince ourselves that there's hope in this in, in captivity. Right. That things are going to go well, things are going to be fine. Things are going to change. Things are not going to change for you. They're going to get worse. If it's Biden, worse. If it's Trump, worse. Right. It doesn't matter who it is. I prefer Trump because Trump is honest. Right. You, you, you know to expect with Trump. Biden, you don't respect with him. He hides his fangs. You can't see his fangs. You, you niggas want that instead. Rather than the snake bite you, you want him to kill you in your sleep. You want him to bite you in your back. Okay, yeah, that's true. He might be the devil, but if he's the devil, secretly I'm good. That's a slave mentality. That's a slave mind to have. Which slave master to pick from? Which master do I want? The Republican one? Which master do I want? The Democratic one? Either way, it's still massa. We don't? Even today, do I even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee? To the most high telling us that if we return to him, he will declare, he will render us or give us double. He will reward us the kingdom of heaven and more. But we want the kingdom on heaven now. We want the kingdom now. In this captivity. You understand? It's foolishness for us to sit around, to sit around and to expect change from a man or government that was built on our backs. Right. It don't make sense. The amendments that were the amendments of the Constitution do not pertain to you. Right. The Pledge of Allegiance does not pertain to you. I pledge allegiance to the flag, the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, oh, uh, when did, well, what? Indivisible, indivisible I, I forget it, here all the time. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for few. They're not niggas like you. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.